If you have used Onision's forum in the last uh, two, three years and posted pictures on it, even if you posted pictures on the old Onision forum, you'd be happy to know that your pictures are today still available virtually everywhere on the internet. So watch this video carefully because I'm going to explain you everything. On the 20th of December 2016, a website called Hit Street published an article titled YouTube Onision Running Creepy Forum Where Young Teenage Girls Post Photos in Their Underwear. Written by William Hicks, the article tells the story of uh, Onision.xyz, a website now deleted, where girls uploaded pictures of themselves to be then used by our dear friend Gregory in his videos. The writer also says that in just half hour, scrolling through some of the pages and pages of posts and pictures of his forum, he found dozens and dozens of examples of girls between 11 and 17. At that time, the article also explained that it seemed that uh, there was no age verification. And nowhere in the terms and conditions, he said that users had to be uh, 18 in order to post pictures of themselves. Then, seven days later, Blair White picks up the story and the scandal begins. Here's a bit from her masterpiece video. So an article on Heat Street recently explained that Onision has a message board in which a ton of really underage girls, we're talking ages 11 through 17, post really scantily clad, basically nude pictures of themselves and their bodies for him to rate them. Now, keep in mind that despite Onision's really disturbing attempts at looking like a 14-year-old boy, he actually is 31 years old with a wife and a kid. And if after me saying that, you are questioning the sanity of any woman who would actually marry Onision, You'd be right to question her. She's a YouTuber as well. Her name is Lainey Bot, and she is non-binary and thinks that she switches between male and female daily. So, but back to the story. So, these are really, really young girls on his message board. Like I said, ages 11 through 17. They post really revealing pictures all the time for him to rate their bodies. Um, we're talking 13-year-olds posing in panties for a 31-year-old man. And the schizo actually has no shame about this and what he's doing because he actually puts these pictures in videos and rates them for the entire world to see. She has no restraints. The video is well done. She's simply outstanding. But before writing this episode, I had to do my research. And when I watched the video again, I noticed that she basically repeated what the article said. And I'm sure many of you still have many questions. Uh, who was using the forum? What was on the forum? What really happened? But before showing you the forum today and explaining you what's going on now, I need to show you the forum back in 2016, the deleted forum. How are you gonna do that, Josh, you may ask? Well, I managed to find a copy of that forum back in 2016 before it was deleted, because nothing, nothing is ever deleted on the internet. And why is going back in time important to understand? And why do we have to do that? because people need to know. Before making a decision or have an opinion, you need to have all the information available. So let's go and see what Onision's forum uh, was like back in 2016. The main problems uh, back there were the main uh, topics. Here, for example, in January 2017, a few weeks after the whole scandal began, we have threads like hot or not? Am I fat, curvy or uh, thick? Best features? What does Onision think is your best feature? Very creepy. Then in November 16, 2016, we have uh, Would Lenny Bot Date You? Which would be fine if the followers, or at least many of them, weren't the 13 year old kids. And again, uh, hot or not, Lenny Bot chooses. So to me, the problem is quite obvious. Uh, maybe because uh, I'm mentally old. But why a 30 year old man and his wife ask pictures from their followers? Especially when they already know that there are many kids uh, posting pictures of themselves uh, on this forum and no one is implementing any rule. Why? To be fair, I also have to point out that uh, in our research, all the people we've talked to told us that uh, the Onision character is just a character. So far, all of the publicly non-disclosed uh, claims coming from uh, Onision's ex-moderators, claims we have investigated, are false. Even Tomato Biscat, uh, a YouTuber I talked to, uh, told me that uh, Onision the man uh, is not what everybody me as well, uh, thinks. But still, doesn't he have the responsibility to protect his audience? And doesn't he have the responsibility in this case with the, with the forum to behave differently? In the October 2016 version of the website, uh, a few months before the whole scandal began, uh, there was a thread titled Onision Guesses Your Race. Uh, very innocent at first, uh, but then you click on it and Onision's directions uh, are quite... Uh, 
Weird. Step one, make yourself look cool, like wear a costume or take part in fun activity. Step two, write a whole bro somewhere around or on you in a raisable marker. Step three, take a picture. Step four, upload that picture to an image host. Step five, post that image in a reply to this message and include your actual race just below it. Boom. Now on easy on my guess your race in a video. Not sure whether they meant nationality. I mean, race is uh, quite simple to guess. Then you scroll down and start reading some ages. 14 Mexican, 14, 15 in November. I'm half Czech, half American, meaning a little of most, mostly German and Finnish. I'm 14, by the way. On page three, Onision replies to Olivia Moriarty. I'm 15 year old Polish. Heart. Don't know what that means, but that heart is, uh, is kind of creepy. Here, probably someone posted a dressed picture or a picture that wasn't really good. So Onision replied with uh, the directions. Here again, Olivia posted another picture saying, I accidentally posted a picture without the ha bro in it. Uh, so just excuse that. 15 Polish. On page four, Jeremy Wright, 14 half white English, half brown Burmese. On page five, Mandy Wright, 13 German Australia. Page number six, new member Rebby New writes, I'm Venezuela and Colombian and Portuguese also I'm 16 take care of Greg ah. so far it's clear that there is something wrong with this website now you might think come on not all of them were minors and you are right but if you haven't noticed most of them did not write their age so let's see what happens when Onision asks his users who they are. On the 30th of October 2016, Onision asks his users, hello, who are you? And here you can clearly see who some of the users of the forum are. Hello, my name is Baz, I'm 14 year old. Katrina is 13, Emily is 13, Ayu is 15, Natalia 14, Nicoletta 13, Jete 13. Devon found Onision uh, three years earlier and when he wrote this message was 16. Same for Alicia, found Onision two years earlier, wrote this when she was 16. Lex is 15. Joanna found him seven years ago. She says now she's 20. Nicolas is 16. Then we have a 29 year old user. Taylor is 16 now, but has been watching Onision since she was 10. And Jenny from Germany is 13. And these are only the pages I managed to find. But let's carry on. In this thread titled, are your boobs actually too big small? Girls post uh, their breast pictures. I've seen all of these pictures and I can tell you that on this page alone, I've counted seven that look about 15, but only one has actually told us their age. This user, she is a 15 year old kid and the old forum is filled with images like this one. So basically this is what uh, no one has ever showed you, uh, maybe because they were too lazy to do their research. In fact, it's easier to read an article found on the internet and repeat it out loud like uh, Blair White did. But at least now you know what really happened and what was going on on that forum. And you can clearly see that uh, those pictures are still around. Here is one picture from that forum found on uh, exhamster.com, a porn website. Now, we don't know whether that body is from a minor or not. It doesn't look like, but it comes from one of Onision's fans. He has Onision's written on it. We found only one, but if that happened once, how many times has this been happening? How many pictures of your daughter, your sister, or yourself, if you were a user of that forum, are still around? Today, you might think uh, things have changed, uh, right? Well, not really. <laughs> The layout of the forum has changed uh, and also the, the domain and now it's called onision.com but the contents are still the same. Onision is still asking his followers to post pictures of themselves and miners are still publishing their pictures. And guess what? No one is doing a thing. First, I'd like to show you what his website asks you as soon as you visit it. So we're going now on onision.co uh, website. So let's get into introduce yourself. We just choose the first uh, thread. Here we go. We scroll down a little bit and this appears. Uh, it says we work hard to provide the best community. Please support us. Disable ad blocker. And we're going to do that. We're going to disable the ad blocker. Uh, wait a second. Oh, look at this. He's in black on a black background. And he says, please consider supporting this website by disabling your ad blocker. This website does not use audio ads pop-ups or other annoyances. Thank you. Boom. Here's the ad. But something very interesting is on the bottom of the page. Other two ads, of course. And there is something again in black over a black background. He says, this forum is hosted for free by pro boards. Get your own free forum. So with all the money that this, this man does off of uh, kids, he's still <laughs> 
trying to save money over a forum. Let's check now the terms. In section 18c, the website clearly states you shall not use the website or services to upload personal information or anything that exploits in sexual or violent manner anyone under the age of 18. Interesting. And the community guidelines say the same thing. Interesting. I personally have no problem with using ads uh, in videos and uh, website, even if they are about uh, natural disasters, tragedies or uh, kids. If the videos are informative or entertaining, why not? We put ads uh, on all our videos and uh, websites because we think our videos and websites are good. We find a thread launched uh, on the 21st of August 2017 titled Fat or Skinny? hot or not, post warning. You scroll down a little and you will find a reply that dates August the 25th, 2017, that says, Hi, I'm 13, I'm 5'4 feet and weight 56.5 kilograms. Sorry, it doesn't let me put more than one picture. In this case, we have a picture of a kid showing her smile, a beautiful smile, but from her dental image, you can roughly date her age. This should be an 11 year old kid. There is nothing wrong with this picture but the image shouldn't be there. This kid looks really, really young. The image was posted on Instagram and then shared on Onision's forum. I checked her Instagram profile and there she reveals she's an eighth grader, meaning she's 13, while this other user is 15. I've also decided to show you how dangerous um, the forum actually is, because everything people post is actually public. There is no protection. So once you have registered and you are able to write, post whatever you want, anything, anything you put in, anything is available on any search engine. Look at what happens when you Google the username of one of the users using the forum. Their image are available on Google search. And this doesn't happen with Facebook, for example. When you post a picture on Facebook, your pictures are not available. And a filter like that should be implemented in a website used by kids. Yet, there isn't, after years and years of scandal. So your image, if you've ever used this uh, website, or your daughter's image, uh, or uh, your sister's image, uh, is uh, now everywhere. Another creepy thing I found is with Onision's replies. In a thread titled, where do you guys live? Uh, uh, people, users tell everyone, and when I say everyone, I really mean everyone, where they actually live. And it cannot be any worse than that. I mean, kids post their pictures and then tell everyone where they live. And here, there is something interesting going on. Onision doesn't reply to anyone but two users. The only two users that say, they live in Seattle. And in this thread, users write where they come from. This user writes, she lives in Seattle, Washington, like a few blocks from Greg, not even kidding. And a few comments later on page two, Greg replies with, oh, creepy. And again, here another ton of users writing where they come from. No one else is from Seattle nor Washington State, but this user on page four that says, I live in Tacoma, Washington. And Greg again decides to reply only to this other user. Four pages, 52 comments, Greg only replied to two users and both from south of Seattle, where Gregory lives. Again, nothing wrong with it, uh, but why not replying to four, six of them? To me, maybe because uh, I notice these things uh, more than other people do, this looks really, really bad. So if you still believe there is nothing wrong with this website, listen. It's fair to say, look, there, we don't know whether pedophiles actually use this website or not. True, I don't know, I'm not a pedophile and I don't know how pedophiles think. We should ask one, we should find a very famous uh, pedophile that everybody knows, so we all know that that's a real interview and ask him. I presented you all the information I found. Now it's your turn. <laughs>